using SSL strip on the Wi-Fi Pineapple, this time on Pineapple University. Hello and welcome, I'm Darren Kitchen, still here in a little box doing some videos on some awesome tools for the Wi-Fi Pineapple. Today we're taking a look at Whistlemaster's SSL strip infusion, which implements Moxie Marlin Spike's awesome SSL strip utility, which if you're not aware of, is pretty fantastic in the realm of allowing you to find credentials and other such post data on HTTP sites. So, what does all that mean? Well, basically I have two machines uh, set up right here. The one on the left is my virtual machine running uh, Kali Linux that's directly connected to my Wi-Fi Pineapple. And then I also have this boring Windows box over here. And the boring Windows box is over at, we're gonna use facebook.com as an example. And I'm at the same website over here on the Linux box. But you'll notice that there's a key difference and that is that if I take a look at the address bar, I'm actually at HTTPS colon slash slash Facebook.com, whereas on my client to the Wi-Fi Pineapple, I'm just at www.facebook.com. So why is that? Well, that's because if I come back over to my browser and take a look, I'm using the SSL strip infusion by Whistlemaster. You can grab these from the Wi-Fi Pineapple bar. Uh, it's pretty quick over the air download and then you should be able to get up and running. And it's really simple to use. All you do is open it up and hit start. I've already done that. And on my client now, when I go to say log into a website with the username deadbeefcoffee at whatever dot whatever. I don't know if that's a new TLD and my lame password and go ahead and hit login. No, I don't want to remember that. We'll notice that over here I actually see dead beef coffee at whatever dot whatever and my password is lame password. So this is pretty simple. Um, now we can stop this, we can save this, we've got a history where we can actually view and download the different credentials that we've captured throughout the times. And it's a very simple tool that literally just strips HTTPS out. It uh, strips SSL, that's a very aptly named utility. It does a lot to hopefully trick the user into thinking that they're actually a secure website. Like for example, the fave icon you'll notice in the top right, right, or the top left of this VM right here, it's actually a lock icon, even though it's not actually uh, secure. And so um, that's pretty much how it works. There's, of course, technology that thwarts this, like HSTS, and you know, it's a cat and mouse game like anything else. And uh, we're going to see some interesting developments as this continues. But uh, for right now, pretty much just download SSL strip, click go, and Bob's your uncle. So if you guys have any other questions, uh, or if you'd like to see us cover, other things in the future on Pineapple University, let us know in the comments and I will see you guys on the internet.